welcome to my very first cruelty free favorites video this has been like a super requested thing for me to do and I kind of like was trying to rebuy things that I've loved before but I wanted to try other things so I didn't repurchase them and I just realized I just need to start doing monthlies of this so I'm really sorry that Mays is so late Mays this one is probably gonna be the longest one y'all ever see <laughs> because these are some products that I don't think I have showed you guys before or it might have just touched on that I wanted to share with you guys again. So this will be the longest video. I'm also going to include things that I didn't so much like at all. Um, so I'm going to try to make this snappy. It's late at night, very late at night. I know it's hard to tell because it's got all my studio lights, but it is very late at night. So bear with me. All right, let's just, let's start with cleaning products. Okay, I'm going to start purchasing like different things to try or things I've tried before that I love that I can show you guys some great options um, before I start this video and I will probably say this at the beginning of every cruelty free faves video some of these companies are owned by companies that own other companies that test on animals their parent company owns companies that test on animals um, so that has to be a personal decision you make for yourself some people are okay with it um, I think now a days it's really hard for a company to stand up and say no I want to be cruelty free no I don't want to sell to China so even if they're owned by a company that owns companies like that do test on animals I am personally okay with it as long as what I am purchasing was not tested on animals um, it does suck that some of the money does go to the parent company you know that that sucks but um, I don't know it's just a personal decision that you have to make. I just want to clear that, put that out there now because I know some people get really passionate about it and I want everyone to know that I'm well aware that I don't remember which of these companies it is is owned by a parent company that tests on animals, but I believe one of them is. Um, so let's just get into this. First off, I'm just going to start with cleaning. I think I already said that. I'm already repeating myself. Let's light it on. Okay. So the first thing is the Costco, oh my God, this Costco environmentally responsible ultra clean. Um, it's really hard to find a detergent that isn't tested on animals. I have not tried the method or the Myers yet. I'm going to, but I have tried the seventh generation and I did not love it. Plus this giant thing is 126 loads and I feel like it was like $12.99, maybe $14.99, maybe, I don't know, maybe cheaper. No, maybe it was $9.99. I don't know. If you have a Costco card, I'm sure you've seen it. You can check it out. Um, the reason we got a Costco card is so many of their products, including their shampoos and stuff, which I'll be trying out eventually at some point. Um, they have a lot of stuff that is cruelty free. They have a lot of organic stuff. So that's why we went with our Costco card. Um, so I really do love this detergent. The first time I actually tried it, I tried it um, in California. That's what my brother uses. Uh, I got really scared for some reason before I went and repurchased it because some of the reviews online were like, it causes breakouts, causes your skin to break out. It freaked me out a little bit because I have really sensitive skin. And I realized the more I looked at it, the negative reviews that said that were people that kind of just seemed to maybe have severe sensitive skin I don't know so I was like I've used this before why am I scared I just bought it it's fine like I said I have sensitive skin I have no problem with it I was worried because Ralph has sensitive skin he has since snuggled in a blanket that has been washed in this he's been fine so um, I think if you have like uber sensitive skin you can try it out and if it makes you break out then you can take it back to Costco next up another thing that's complained about that I feel was like complained about by super sensitive people was their dish detergent. Like this thing, I kid you not, was like seven to nine dollars. I really don't remember. Um, and this is the same thing, environmentally responsible, blah, 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 blah. Not tested on animals. This is just a bunch of dish soap. And I love it because you get a ton of it at an amazing price. Another dish soap I really like is the seventh generation, um, the lavender one. That's another one I like and I use a lot. Um, Miss Myers is great. I don't have any of it, but I'll probably get some for my next haul. Okay, so let's do this one together. The next one I really like, I love the seventh generation dishwasher packs. 
Um, I did the whole Pinterest thing. I tried to make my own. There was a recipe to make your own like hard one. It was so embarrassing. My in-laws came over that weekend and my mother-in-law was like horrified when she saw the glasses because they had that film and I was like, I know, I know. There's clean glasses to the back. It was, an it was a pin fail. It was terrible. So I really had like a difficult time and I also tried the Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's makes amazing stuff, but their powdered stuff, it kind of like left that film on my dishes. Sometimes the very top of our like cups and stuff will have the powder film like it doesn't dissolve all the way. Um, sometimes too we get hard water but just randomly. It's very strange. I did buy the seventh generation rinse aid and it works fantastic. Like together it's amazing. It's like I used to use the Cascade Platinum before going cruelty free. Works perfectly fine. My dishes come out just like the Cascade Platinum and no animals were hurt. So that's a definite. I did have to go to Whole Foods to buy this because I saw on Amazon it is cheaper at Whole Foods than it is at Amazon. So just letting you guys know. Okay, the next thing you guys have seen before, my favorite Miss Myers, the geranium. This is the concentrate. I took some of those. I don't know if you guys ever saw when Windex made the little things that sit on your counter and you like pump the cleaner in it. Well, I had those from couponing and when they ran out, I saved the bottles and I fill it with the Miss Myers concentrate and some water and I keep those on like in my bathroom, on my kitchen counter and I just pump when I clean the um, counter sometimes just to like touch up little spots if I get sauce or something when I'm cooking or like, you know, if I get makeup on the counter, it's just a really great way to use this. And then of course in a spray bottle, I use it in my mop that I use that um, you make your own solution for. It's just really cool. I love the smell of this Miss Myers geranium. Oh, it was my favorite till the peony, I think I'm saying that, came out. And this is the peony one I'm talking about. Their counter sprays are amazing. You can spray this and like, it's not overwhelming. It's a stronger smell, but I like it because it's almost like you sprayed really light air freshener. A couple hours later, you can walk into your kitchen and just get a little whiff of it. And it's like, Oh, smells so, so good. Um, another thing I did purchase that we have already talked about in one of my vlogs, and originally I did not like it. Um, I think the issue was because I actually smelled the clothes straight out of the dryer while they were still hot, and um, I couldn't smell this at all. The thing that made me realize it does work is that I started wearing some of the clothes that got washed in it that I thought didn't have the smell, and I actually was like catching whiffs of it during the day. So it does work. I stand corrected. I was totally my bad. I smelled it when it was <laughs> too hot. I don't know if that makes sense. That I don't I don't know how it affected it. But um a thing the only thing I do actually use this on though is I use it on my clothes that I hang dry because it the smell is stronger. Um while there is still a scent with the stuff that got dried, I like the little like the stronger version of it. I don't think I will rebuy it just because nine dollars is kind of exp it's kind of like an indulgence. I don't know. It's just not an indulgence I need, you know. So while I love this stuff, it does work. It smells amazing. Another thing I did with it that I probably shouldn't have done, but people I see people on Pinterest do weird shit. Like they were using those downy um, downy boosters and putting it in their wax warmer. So I was like, well, these are salts. And they all use natural concentrated, just like essential oils, so it can't hurt anything. And I put it in my little plug-in warmer. Y'all, it smelled so good. I'm not saying that that's how you're supposed to use it. I'm just saying I tried it out because I was like, it's got to be safer than like those like other things people are using in there. Um, and it smelled so good. That's not what it's for. I'm be very clear. That's just what I tried it. I tried it. Doesn't hurt. Smelled amazing. Just letting y'all know, I really love that product, but I probably won't purchase it just because it is a little bit expensive for how much you get. Okay, so the other thing is Miss Myers, um, the lavender toilet bowl cleaner. I love this one. I like I it works amazing. Let me just say it works amazing. That's why it's a favorite. But the lavender smell could smell a little more lavender, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's um. It's not as lavendery as I would hope, if that makes any sense at all. It's a little strange smell um, with like a hint of lavender, but it does work. It is really powerful, so it is in my favorites because, I mean, the smell at the end of the day doesn't matter. What matters is if it does its job. The smell is just like a nice bonus. So I think that, no, that's not all for Miss Myers. <laughs> um, this is my 
favorite soap right now we're using is the foaming soap by them and it's in the watermelon scent you guys it smells so good and it it stays on my hands and it smells the kitchen up way better than bath and body works ever did like i like totally bought all their hand soaps and stuff before going cruelty free and for the longest time bath and body works was cruelty free but they decided this year to start selling to china i just want to put that out there so you guys kind of understand because i think people don't realize what happened once um i should probably talk about this really quick once a company starts selling to china and then their products are tested on animals and a lot of times you will come across sites um like when i first tried to go in cruelty free and Rimmel, let's see l'oreal all these sites had statements we're cruelty free we don't believe in testing on animals blah 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 blah, blah. only where countries like in very small print only where countries require it if you see anything about but only blah 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 countries requiring it that means hey you know we love the thought of not testing on animals but we still do and we're just going to blame it on the countries thing like okay so if a product sells to china then basically that company does test on animals because China will not receive any products unless they've been tested on animals. So that's like a big thing that companies do that's kind of shitty and confusing when they actually test on animals, but they want to make you think they don't, but they do. I hope that makes sense. Um, what I was saying, so Bath & Body Works did start selling to China, so I can no longer purchase their items. You know, I could go on and on and show you guys some really graphic pictures and tell you guys how horrible it is. I'm just going to leave you with this. Some people think... Well, how, it's it's not that mean. Somebody actually told me one time, I don't think putting blush on a bunny rabbit is that mean. You are very naive if you think that is what animal testing is. Um, animal testing lets you something like, let's say your mascara or your eyeliner. They will take the questionable chemicals that they might just use the smallest amount of diluted in that product that doesn't even go in your eye, just around it, and they will take it concentrated, for instance, this is just an example of um, one thing that happens. They will take like a concentrated version of this chemical that they're worried might hurt your eye, and they will put it with droppers into, say, a rabbit's eye and see what happens. That's horrible. That's horrible, especially because nowadays, I'm going to let you guys do your own research because this video will be so long if I go on and on about this, but there are so many better alternatives that will actually tell companies that better than testing on a rabbit really the only reason and it's not just rabbits I want you guys to know um it's dogs it's cats it's monkeys it's not just like lab rats it's it's your family pet could be tested on animals because there's no animal welfare for it's kind of hard like the only kind of animal welfare they have is the cage size and restrictions like that um there's actually a beagle that like the breed the dog breed a beagle um breeder that exclusively breeds to sell the beagles to be tested on um it's just really really sad and the only thing even even with those cage regulations and stuff there's a lot of times where they the laws get broken and they're just nobody does anything about it um there is really no reason for us to still be testing on animals i think i think like i've heard many times people say it's just more of a tradition thing that's what people are used to there's so many more alternatives now that actually can tell like they're actually so much better than testing on animals it will give them a better idea of if this is going to affect people is this going to hurt people or their skin it's just really really sad so i won't get into like graphic things but i'm just gonna leave you with that um i don't even remember why we started talking about that but yeah so i really love the watermelon scent hand soap it's amazing um let's get into method stuff next method is a newer like i'm sure you guys have seen this at target non testing animals non-toxic plant-based all that amazing stuff um i'm really loving the pink grapefruit um this is the all-purpose cleaner i'm loving this one it smells so so good um i'm also loving now that they have air fresheners another hard thing was like miss myers makes air fresheners again it's kind of pricey but they're very strong um but i am loving the method ones i actually had coupons um from my store and then they were on sale so i got a really good deal i got several of these this is the Wild Poppy. You guys, this smells so amazing. And it's self-propelled, so it's not um, aerosol. 
but I was really excited to see like cruelty free air sprays. Another thing is I got wood polish um, because I have like cleaners and when you switch to natural it's not like pledge. Pledge kind of leaves that like waxy build up so it's shiny but I never realized how much of a build up it left until I went cruelty free. Um, so after I cleaned my wood even though I do have a cleaner here I have the um, seventh generation wood cleaner and conditioner. Um, while this works really well this is the lemon and calamine. I love this for cleaning my wood and it does keep it conditioned but I also like to have that little bit of shine and that's where I I will use this once a week and then every other week after I use this I will use the wood polish and this stuff you guys oh this almond smell I want to like eat it like when I spray it I'm just like ah, it smells so good I love almonds and like that sugary almond smell um it's the same thing in their squirt and mop this is the squirt and mop for wood that i use on our laminate floors i love this same thing it smells so amazing so method makes really good products y'all the almond if you like almond scents it is the bomb seriously and then of course there is the seventh generation i used to clean like i said um okay the next seventh generation i use this every Friday. Like I clean my countertops with Miss Myers method, sometimes just vinegar if I'm going to be cooking on the counter or like not cooking, but like prepping vegetables and stuff. And I don't want to like, even though these are plant-based chemicals, I still like to just use vinegar if I'm going to be putting like food on the counter. I also like cleaning, um, when I was a nanny, I liked cleaning the kids, um, trays with just like a vinegar water solution because they so many times drop their food on it, and eat it. Um, the little trays on their high chairs. So whenever I work with kids or stuff around kids, I just use vinegar and water and in our refrigerator clean it, I use vinegar and water. And when I am prepping food that will touch the counter, that's when I use vinegar and water. Once a week I go around and I use the um, seventh generation disinfectant. I use this on the, I spray it on like a paper towel and I use it on the doorknobs. I use it on like everything, like every surface I clean with this once a week just to kill germs, you know. Um, soap and water products, they kill germs, but I'm just like extra OCD about it sometimes. Or if like one of us is feeling sick, I go around with this. Um, or if the dogs do something really gross and it needs like to be cleaned well, that's what we use. Um, this is going to be a product I hate. Like I don't even know why I still have it. I don't really know what to do with it. Hopefully I'll find another use for it. But this is the Earth Friendly Products Furniture Polish. This was the very first like natural pledge kind of replacement I bought and I bought this I want to say a year ago I have not really used it that much since this dried my wood out so much it my wood looked terrible it looked dried out it felt gross I do not like this stuff I'm glad I kept it though to like show you guys I still don't like I might try it followed up by the conditioner and see what happens because I'm just that person that even if it sucks like I still don't want to throw it out because I spent money on it but if you don't get this like just don't buy it don't buy it go for seventh generation go for method do not buy this um yeah I've heard great things about some of the other earth friendly products but this is just not one of the great ones now we're going to get into deodorant okay let's go with my favorite first I'm loving the Schmitz deodorant um it has this little applicator it has this little applicator and you like dig in and you're supposed to put it in your finger and roll it around no that's not what I do I use this by myself before when Justin tried it I didn't do this but like afterwards I'm like this is what I'm doing he said it worked but I think he wants more of a masculine scent but um this is the bergamot and lime but I scrape some on there I put it under my arm and close my arm and let it warm up there instead of on my fingers and then I go like this <laughs> and then sometimes I go like that but I don't know why just like doing this and then the recommended amount I do use more I I think that as I continue to lose weight you know I am overweight I got a little more arm going on than most people I think that I'll be able to use less but just to make me like feel better if I'm going to be out like sweating my ass off I prefer to use a little more than they recommend um that I think like somebody with smaller arms would be fine that's just my preference um before that i was using the nature gates herbal blend deodorant i really liked this deodorant i did like it a lot but i was constantly reapply well i probably reapplied five times a day i would just carry it with me everywhere it kind of sucked and for special events i was still using the like for stuff where i was gonna be like 
outside for hours sweating, I was still using the stuff I had from couponing. But now with the um, Schmitz deodorant, I don't have to. It's just like, another thing too is like with regular deodorant, I was like in the morning, you know, if you don't shower and stuff, you have that like old deodorant smell, if that makes sense. With the Schmitz, I don't have that. I don't smell like anything. Um, I don't feel like there's like chemicals all up under my armpit. I will say if you guys are switching to cruelty free deodorant, there is, uh, well now if you, sh if you switch to Schmitz, I don't know, it might mask this. But when I first switched over, there was a good week or two where my body, the pores were kind of cleaning themselves all out of all that backed up aluminum and all that crap they put in deodorant. And I read about it online that this would happen. And I didn't smell rosy for about two weeks and then my body like readjusted and it's fine now. I smell, I not to toot my own horn, but I think I smell pretty good. So I will be repurchasing this just because the Schmitz is kind of expensive. It is $10 for that little jar. So I don't mind when I'm home by myself, I'm not doing anything too sweaty, you know, just doing housework and stuff, reapplying this five times because this is cheaper. It was like half the cost of that. So some days are Schmitz days. Some days I'm just going to use NatureGate. This is a hate. This is a hate. Seriously. I'm still using it though because I spent money on it, but this reminds me that Jason's Pure and Natural Deodorant Stick reminds me so much of the Tom's and the Tom's deodorant burns the shit out of my armpits. Like I had like red, I developed a rash, it was terrible. I ended up throwing that out. Like, Y'all, I don't throw stuff out. This took about three days and then I started getting that rash. And what I started doing though, because I'm I'm, I'll use this sometimes. I will put coconut oil on before to help like make a barrier so I don't get that rash. But this doesn't work that well and it makes my underarms peel and it leaves it with a red like painful ugliness. I don't know. I just would never rebuy this. I will use it because I spend the money on it with the coconut oil when I need to but this I will never rebuy it. I'll stick to my nature's gate and my schnitz from now on. Okay guys, and I've talked about Dr. Brommers before, so I'm just gonna show you. I've got lots of Dr. Brommers. Um, I used to have really bad hormonal cystic acne, and the very first thing I did that started clearing up my acne was I stopped using Neutrogena wash. I stopped using conventional face washes. All I wash my face with now is the Peppermint Dr. Brommers soap. This is the only thing I will put on my skin. I have tried, like one time I went with my sister to Dallas and I forgot this, and I was like, crap and she's like oh I have um this was like a couple years ago she had some kind of face that ah, St. Ives face scrub stuff or whatever and I used that I broke out I used another time I went somewhere with my friend I used her Neutrogena the next day I broke out I swear by this stuff I got my friend on it like he totally uses he had bad acne too he totally uses it now he's obsessed with it um and then when I do Fertility drugs, I also take evening primrose and I'll take, I take macaroot too, but those will help your skin a lot if you have hormonal acne. My skin is pretty clear most of the time now with an occasional pimple or two, but like who doesn't get that? But I swear by this was the best thing I ever did for my skin. You guys, I'm not lying. I was going to the dermatologist. I was getting all these face creams. I was, I was like living in hell. And if I had known that one little soap could change my life like that, I just I would have started doing it like it, it could have changed my whole teenage life too but that's a whole nother story so I swear by this stuff I love it there is a mild baby formula which I'll be using on our baby like our tiny baby and then I'll show you guys what I'm using when our kids get older I already have this all planned out um, and then I love the rose and the lavender you guys I like all of these I could bathe the dog <laughs> I bathe the dogs in these. You can use this as toothpaste the last one if you have to. You can, cl I clean with this too sometimes. This is just like, oh, it is an all-in-one. Dr. Brommers is life, like, it's life. I have done a review on the next thing. This is the Purador um, shampoo and conditioner. This is the hair loss system. Not only am I using it now, which my hair has gotten so much thicker and it's just amazing since I started using it. It's growing faster. But I also got Justin to start using. Now this 
he has been using it too. And now, you guys, this is pricey. I will admit, I don't remember exactly how much, but this is really pricey. But this will last you for three months. I don't wash my hair every day. So this has actually lasted us with Justin too so far. We're on like month five. Um, I don't wash my hair every day because it's damaging and I don't need to. Like right now, this is second day hair and it's just fine. So I've done a whole review on that before. If I can find it, I'll link it below. But you guys, there are going to be so much crap below. Um, you can go on YouTube and just look pure door reviews if you don't want just my opinion. Like a lot of people use it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, I just did a review on this. I will link this for below. Um, but when I talked about what we're going to use on like our baby babies. And then my base fear was like, okay, when we have a kid, I don't want to buy things that are tested on animals. I want to remain cruelty free, but I know they're going to want like bubble gum, you know, scents and cotton candy and like all these cool, like, you know, they put like Hello Kitty on the bottle and it smells like strawberries. And there's just so much stuff marketed to kids, but not only are they tested on animals, but they're full of like chemicals and just like, stuff that doesn't need to be in there so I really love that Princess Bunny has made natural organic cruelty free amazing products I've been using this is the bubblegum um what bath wash can talk the bubblegum bath wash I've been using this oh and then I saved I was like saving these for this cruelty free video but I've been like wanting to use them well I've been using a bunny bar for like a week and a half now almost two weeks I've been using the other bunny bar these are really small but they come in pairs I actually just ordered vanilla ice cream um I ordered some more I can't wait to get them I can will not wait to smell that I'm sure it'll be in my next um cruelty free video but this is the cotton candy you guys every time I'm just like I need to smell Oh, it smells so good. It makes my whole shower smell good. I wore, I like used it the other day and this thing is like really small, but it really like, I've been using it and I still have some like every day. Um, there's one day where I use the bubble gum, but I wanted to use my bunny bars first and then my bubble gum. But I was in Target the other day and I was like looking through clothes and there was like some ladies next to me and they were like, do you smell cotton candy? I showered like an hour before. They're like, do you smell cotton candy? You smell cotton candy, right? And they were talking to each other. I finally turned around and I was like, is it me? And they're like, yes. And I'm like, oh, let me tell you about Princess Bunny. So, and then I saved one bath bomb to show you guys if you missed my review. How gorgeous is this? I can't wait to use this. I kind of want to use it before I go out and do something because I feel like it's going to leave my body so shimmery and beautiful. This is the monkey farts. Can't wait to use that. But I wanted, I've been like dying to, oh, look at those. Look at that, just gorgeous. Um, and they use like minerals and I don't remember what it is they use that is just so gorgeous to like, that it, but it's natural like from the earth that they use to like make it shimmery and colorful. I don't know, it just, it blows my mind. Um, I love that company. I cannot wait to try the vanilla nice bars that I ordered. Um, so yeah, love that. Cannot wait to bathe my babies. When they're older and that cotton candy smell, I'm just like, oh, so great. Um, okay, now I'm being weird. So I'm going to move, like, the rest of the stuff is kind of random. I'm going to move to something I hate. I hated these. Again, I bought them, and I don't know why I kept using them. I should have thrown these out because every time I use them, the next day my skin would peel. Um, the, I had the same thing happen a few years ago when I tried their moisturizer. But this is the Yes to Carrots cucumber smoothing hyperallergenic wipes with aloe vera and all this crap and you know I'm like okay so why is it making my face peel I still to this day don't know why I made my face peel <sighs> I still have some in here I'm probably just gonna throw out but yeah I wish I hadn't bought the value pack and spent that much money but lesson learned so I'll be trying some other cruelty free wipes and stuff in the future but this just did not do it for me I would never buy these again Okay, another random thing. Um, the toothpaste I use, because I really don't like Tom's that much, um, is the, I love the um, Trader Joe's, which a lot of the Trader Joe's stuff, their cleaners and stuff like that is not tested on animals. They have some great cleaners I have used before. I will repurchase um, so I can do another, in another faves video so I can show you guys what I like from Trader Joe's. But this is the toothpaste I use. It's just a simple peppermint anti-cavity toothpaste with baking soda and fluoride. I love this stuff. I feel like it leaves my breath fresher longer than actually like actual like crust and stuff used to do. So I love that. 
So a big struggle I had is at nighttime when I take my makeup off, I just use coconut oil usually. Um, and after I like wash my eyes with like, um, I don't use the Dr. Brommers near my eyes because that peppermint gives you a tingle. But I do use like a moisturizing um, bar of soap to remove my eye makeup when I'm in the shower. And then I put the coconut oil on and take it off. But sometimes when you're doing your makeup, you want like a non-oily eye makeup remover that you can like put on a cotton swab and get. Because you guys know when I showed you makeup tutorials, I do my eye makeup, then my face makeup. And I just clean up under my eyes. So I was trying to find a eye makeup remover that was cruelty free and it's really been a task. I did find that Alba products, they make them. Um, I'm going to have to order on Amazon, which I'm going to. Um, for the specific kind I want but I went to Whole Foods and I asked the lady if they had any and from the outside this looked like what I was looking for um it's a earth science calamine and green tea eye makeup remover um this does work for that I have been able to use it I have to put some on a cotton ball it's kind of like it's not soapy but it's a gel and it kind of lathers a little bit but I'll do that and then I take a wet cotton ball and I just remove the remover, if that makes any sense at all. That's what the directions I do. I think this would be great instead of using bar soap on my eye. This would probably be better. I'd probably start doing that once I find a good replacement for my eye makeup remover that was tested on animals that I finally ran out of. So, on to the last few things. Um, let's do something I hate. NYX Invincible. I have been using this. Another thing I bought and I'm going to use it all the way through. And I just thought it was because those wipes were making my skin really dry. And once I got it all moisturized, it would look good. It just did not work for, out for me. I, I tried also their HD. Um, they had like a, they had like a HD foundation that was like $17. I tried that. Yeah, no, I took that shit back. And that's when I bought this because this was $7. And it's, I mean, it's full coverage, but it's not the kind of full coverage I used before. It's just like, it's like stage makeup. That's what I'm looking for. It's like stage makeup. I did find a new foundation because some of you guys suggested Tarte and all this stuff. And while I'm sure those are amazing products and great, I'm not at the place in my life where I can spend 40 to $50 on a foundation. Like, <laughs> I just... I don't, I, that's just like, no. I used to spend a lot of money doing bare minerals and buying MAC and stuff, and that's when I worked before um, I couldn't work anymore because of fibromyalgia. So uh, I'm just more interested in finding cheaper things that people can use also because not everyone can afford that. Even if I could afford that right now, I don't know if I would promote it per se just because I know I watch YouTubers and they have like thousands of dollars worth of makeup and I'm like, but I want to see makeup that's great at a great price that is cruelty free, that is obtainable to everybody. So I think I found a new foundation, but I literally today is the first day I'm wearing it. So I'm going to test it out for a month before I give you guys the verdict. So you'll see it in next month's cruelty free favorites if it works out that way. Um, okay, so let's do a favorite. This is a, this is Manic Panic Dream Tone Vegan Foundation Corrector and Flawless Foundation. Now this can be used on its own if you're goth or a vampire or, you know, but um, like the new foundation I got is a little bit too dark. I am super pale, so um, I correct it with this. It mixes into makeup like amazingly. It does a great job. I love it. I'm obsessed with this. I wish I'd known about this years ago. Um, I will just mix it with the foundation I'm using and put it on with my beauty blender and it's perfect. It looks great. It makes the makeup just the right color for me and I'm totally obsessed with it. This I believe is $9 on Amazon is where I bought it and you're not having to use a lot of it. Just a little pump to mix into your makeup to get the right color. So I've had this probably for four months. So, I mean, it's a good value. Unless you're like super goth and putting it on every day, then it's a little, well, I guess it's $9 for a foundation. Isn't that pricey? Um, lastly, I have been obsessed, even before going cruelty-free, with um, Physicians Formula products. So these are my favorites, wear often. Um, there is one that I'm going to rebuy that is Tox Tin something. Um, that is my favorite powder to use ever. When I buy it, I'll show you guys. Um, I'm loving the youthful wear. This is a little bit, it makes me a little orange sometimes. So if I don't have any sun at all, 
I will very gently powder my face with a brush, very gently. You don't want to go too heavy with this. If you are darker than me, which almost everyone in the world is, I feel like sometimes, this will be perfectly fine. This is like really pretty. It gives you a youthful look. It kind of like with the shimmers kind of hides your little fine lines and flaws. Um, then my favorite thing ever is the um, translucent pearl highlighter. I love it. It's so, so gorgeous. Um, then I also am loving, I actually bought this because I ran out of, oh, no, 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 no. actually mistakenly, like an idiot, um, was going in for the translucent pearl and there was absolutely no, like the package of what this was called was hidden. It just said translucent pearl light. And I was like, dang, did they go darker or something? I don't know. So I bought it and I was like, this is not the same thing. But this actually makes a gorgeous shimmery bronzer. As you can tell, like, that crap is almost gone, y'all. I use it so much. And then last thing I use is my Everyday Blush. It is warm and the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. Those are my favorite face products. Um, you guys have seen me love the Profusion stuff from Dollar Tree. If I've talked about it, if I've rebought it, I love that stuff too. I've been loving everything Profusion makes, but these are things I have not talked about. If you guys want like a full in-depth review of like, I think I also have another bronzer from Physicians Formula, um, and you want to see swatches and stuff, let me know. I can do a video on that. That is it. I'm really sorry. This video is probably going to be so long, but... We are just starting out with the cruelty free favorites. I'm going to start doing monthly. So really I'll probably only have like five or six products in my next month. I'm sorry this one is so late. Life's been a little crazy, but good kind of crazy. And I will see you guys later. Bye.